Hey, welcome back to China Record, the show that tells you everything about China's tech industry. You won't believe how much good news we have for you today. A state-owned company in China has made a huge breakthrough. They can produce seven nanometer chips, the most advanced and powerful chips for Huawei's phones. That's amazing, right? And that's not all. The Chinese government is also planning to raise about 40 billion dollars to support the semiconductor industry, so they can keep making awesome chips even with the U.S. sanctions. The U.S. is trying really hard to stop China from becoming a chip leader, and they even want their allies to ban advanced chip-making tools from China. But guess what? China still gets those tools from the West. How do they do it? Well, you'll have to stick around to find out. Part 1. SMIC History SMIC is the largest contract chip maker in mainland China, and a partially state-owned publicly listed Chinese pure-play semiconductor foundry company. It was founded on April 3, 2000, by Zhang Ruijing, a former Motorola executive, and incorporated in the Cayman Islands as a limited liability company. It has wafer fabrication sites throughout mainland China, offices in the United States, Italy, Japan, and Taiwan, and a representative office in Hong Kong. It provides integrated circuit, IC, manufacturing services from 350 nanometers to 7 nanometers process technologies. Some of its notable customers include Huawei, Qualcomm, Broadcom, and Texas Instruments. SMIC has been expanding its production capacity and technology development in recent years, with the support of the Chinese government and the China Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund. It has established joint ventures and partnerships with various entities, such as the Tang Telecom Group, Huawei, Qualcomm, and IBM. It has also acquired or invested in other semiconductor companies, such as Stats Chip Pack, L Foundry, and Ningbo Semiconductor International Corporation. SMIC is currently building for 28 nanometers process fabs across China, which are expected to come online in 2023 and 2024. SMIC has faced some challenges and controversies in its history, such as intellectual property disputes, trade restrictions, environmental issues, and management changes. In 2020, the United States Department of Commerce imposed export restrictions on SMIC, citing national security concerns and alleging that SMIC had ties to the Chinese military. This has affected SMIC's ability to obtain advanced equipment and materials from American suppliers and hampered its progress in developing more advanced process technologies. SMIC has denied any involvement with the Chinese military and appealed to the U.S. government for relief from the sanctions. SMIC is an important player in the global semiconductor industry and a key pillar of China's ambition to become a leader in the field. It has contributed to the development of various sectors and applications that rely on ICs, such as telecommunications, consumer electronics, automotive, industrial, medical, and aerospace. It has also fostered innovation and talent in the semiconductor field within China and abroad. SMIC's vision is to become one of the leading semiconductor foundries in the world and the largest in China. Part 2. Government's Plan to Support The Chinese government has a plan to support the semiconductor industry, which is called the Made in China 2025 Roadmap. This plan aims to achieve self-sufficiency and global competitiveness in the semiconductor sector, which is crucial for China's economic and national security. The plan involves investing billions of dollars in research and development, subsidies, tax incentives, and financing for domestic chip companies, as well as attracting foreign talent and technology through joint ventures and acquisitions. One of the last China's government billions dollars plan to support semiconductor industry was once come to public awareness early September. According to Reuters, China is set to launch a new state-backed investment fund that aims to raise about $40 billion for its semiconductor sector. Two people familiar with the matter said, as the country ramps up efforts to catch up with the US and other rivals. According to the source, 
It is likely to be the biggest of three funds launched by the China Integrated Circuit Industry Investment Fund, also known as the Big Fund. I am not going to detail into how the billions dollars fund would help China's tech industry, but of course the plan will benefit China's tech sector in several ways. First, it will reduce China's dependence on foreign chip suppliers, especially from the US, which have imposed export restrictions on China due to national security concerns. This will ensure a stable and secure supply of chips for China's tech products and applications, such as smartphones, computers, cloud servers, telecom equipment, artificial intelligence, and 5G. Second, it will enhance China's innovation capabilities and technological leadership in the semiconductor field, which is the foundation of many emerging and strategic industries. This will enable China to create more value-added and high-end products and services, as well as to compete with global rivals in the international market. Third, it will create more jobs and economic growth for China, as the semiconductor industry is a key driver of productivity and industrial upgrading. This will also foster a more vibrant and diverse ecosystem of chip companies, research institutes, universities, and investors in China. Part 3. But why China still gets advanced chip-making tools? Hey, are you ready for the special part? I bet you are. Maybe China had a vision of the future, and that's why it decided to build a solid base to support its huge plan for the semiconductor industry. You know, semiconductors or chips are super important for every product in our century, like phones, computers, drones, ovens, or even our toilets. Can you imagine life without them? I can't. They are also very important for military equipment if a country wants to have an advantage over its rivals. The US and China are playing a game of chess on the chip industry. The US always comes up with a new plan to ban or slow down China's growth, just to stop China from getting ahead in the tech sector. But China is not giving up easily. It has its own strategies and moves to counter the US. It's a very interesting and exciting game, don't you think? The US ban on China's chip industry is a series of export restrictions and sanctions imposed by the US government on Chinese companies and individuals involved in the semiconductor sector. The US claims that the ban is necessary to protect its national security interests and prevent China from gaining an edge in the global tech race. The ban affects China's access to advanced chips, chip-making equipment, and software as well as the ability of U.S. citizens to work for Chinese chip firms. The ban has been gradually tightened since 2020 and has targeted major Chinese players such as Huawei, SMIC, YMTC, and several AI chip companies. The ban has posed significant challenges and uncertainties for China's chip industry, which relies heavily on foreign technology and imports for its development and production. The ban has also impacted other industries that depend on chips, such as electronics, telecommunications, automotive, and artificial intelligence. China has been trying to fight back the ban. ASML, the company that makes the best machines for making chips, said it got permission from the Dutch government to sell some of its cool tools to China until the end of the year. The Dutch government had to agree with the US which doesn't want China to make its own chips because they think it's a security risk. ASML is the top dog in the market for lithography equipment, which uses tiny beams of light to make the circuitry of chips. The company said it can keep selling its NXT, 2000i and some other advanced DUV models, which are under the new rules since September 1st, for the rest of 2023. DUV machines use light waves in the deep ultraviolet light spectrum, and they are ASML's second best product line. Its most awesome extreme ultraviolet, or EUV, machines have never been sold to China. ASML's machines are very important for China because they are the key to making advanced chips that power many of the modern technologies. China wants to become a leader in the semiconductor industry and reduce its dependence on foreign chip suppliers, especially from the US which have imposed export restrictions on China due to national security concerns. However, China still lacks the technology and expertise to produce its own chips at the cutting-edge level, and relies heavily on ASML's machines to do so. 
ASML is the only company in the world that can make extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography machines, which use light to print patterns on silicon. These machines are essential for making chips at the 7 nanometer process or more advanced, which are faster, more powerful, and more energy efficient than older chips. However, ASML has been facing export restrictions from the US and its allies, which have prevented it from selling its most advanced EUV machines to China since 2019. The US fears that China could use these machines to make chips for military purposes or to gain an edge in the global tech race. Recently, the Netherlands and Japan have also agreed to curb exports of some of ASML's less advanced deep ultraviolet DUV, machines to China, which can make chips at the 5 nanometer process or more advanced. These machines are also very valuable for China, as they can help it improve its chip production capacity and quality. China has been trying to import as many of these machines as possible before the end of 2023, when the export license will expire. Therefore, ASML's machines are very significant for China's chip industry and its tech sector as a whole. They can help China achieve its ambition of becoming a self-sufficient and globally competitive chip maker, as well as a leader in various emerging and strategic industries that rely on chips, such as telecommunications, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and 5G. However, China also faces many challenges and uncertainties in obtaining these machines due to the export restrictions and sanctions imposed by the US and its allies.